Top scientists warn of danger in censoring misinformation. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this, and um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and hit that alarm bell so you know when we um, when we put out the latest news. Also, um, check out um, my store, the merch store, where we got uh, tons of t-shirts, uh, Let's Go Brandon t-shirts, I Will Not Comply t-shirts, all types of stuff. We all do that in-house, so check that out, and also check out my Patreon, where we talk about stuff that I can't talk about here. All right, let's get into this news. WND report that uh, one of the world's leading scientific organizations issued a report Wednesday arguing that social media sites should avoid censoring scientific misinformation. The Royal Society, the UK's Academy of Sciences, published a study of online scientific and health misinformation Wednesday, investigating its root cause uh, brainstorm of possible solutions. The scientists concluded that censoring content deemed to be misinformation is often harmful and antithetical to the principles of scientific inquiry. And I have been si saying this from the very beginning. I really didn't need a study to tell me this. But anytime you stifle differences in opinion, differences in, in, in narrative, it's, uh, it, it, it stifles any type of debate. I mean, that's, that's not what science is about. You're supposed to be able to go in and disprove things. I talked about it before, the null hypothesis. You don't go in trying to prove something. You may come up with a theory, but your job in science is to disprove that theory. And you want to disprove that theory. And with stuff that's going on with Stupid 19 and 5G and all that other stuff, they don't allow you to disprove their narrative, which is like the article said, antithetical to uh, scientific inquiry. Um, they go on to say that in the early days of the pandemic, science was too often painted as absolute and somehow not to be trusted when it corrects itself. But that's, um, but that um, prodding and testing of received wisdom is integral to the advancement of science and society. Frank Kelly, a professor of the mathematics of systems at the statistical laboratory at the university of cambridge wow that's a long long title um said it in a statement on the report this is important to bear in mind when we are looking to limit scientific misinformation harms to society the report found that online censorship risk pushing misinformation underground and off of major social media platforms where it's less likely to be exposed to countervailing opinions and and that's a great point if someone's pushing something that's false why not debate it if it's not true it should be easily it should be easily debated if someone uh say the sky is uh lime green you should be able to talk about that and debate it if it's true or not if it's false it should be easy you should be easily um be able to back your um your your narrative and your opinions if you if you have uh, the truth on your side it should be easy to argue so why are they stifling so-called uh misinformation um censorship also risks removing or suppressing content that may be true or helpful to the evolving scientific understanding of certain concepts and that's my point stuff that i said a year ago that i got youtube strikes for on my old channel uh got my channel deleted for this stuff is like the prevailing knowledge now this is it, this is a lot of the stuff that i said um uh that i got community strikes for is common knowledge now it's just i was ahead of the game i read the studies and i actually put the studies out before they become mainstream and by me doing that i've risked uh, my channel which and you know i lost my channel because of it but that's not gonna stop me from putting out uh this information again check out my patreon and um, subscribe so you know when I put out new information. Um, article goes on to say that clamping down on claims outside of the consensus may seem desirable, but it can hamper the scientific process and force genuine 
um, malicious content underground, Kelly said. Social media cam uh, companies have adopted strict medical misinformation policies since the beginning of the stupid 19 pandemic, banning or suspending accounts, including those belonging to members of Congress, such as Republican Rep. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Senator Rand Paul for posting content that violates their rules. The Biden administration has also focused on online misinformation with President Joe Biden alleging that Facebook was killing people by not removing anti-jab uh, claims. I mean, this is crazy that these companies are working with our government. Government shouldn't come in and tell these companies what to do. They're not breaking the law. Why is government coming in and telling these people what people, what um, regular citizens can and can't say? This is ridiculous. Uh, the Royal Society argued that rather than banning misinformation, social media sites should support independent fact-checking organizations. And, and I would say independent with, with a capital independent because these fact-checkers that's on Facebook and stuff like that, they aren't independent. Um, a lot of them come from the Obama administration, believe it or not. Um, and some of them are just uh, a dude with a cat. Uh, 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 not with no scientific background or anything. Uh calling something misinformation they have no <clears throat> no training in any of this scientific stuff but calling something misinformation it's beyond uh, it, it, it's, it's beyond ignorance um where was uh fact checking organization invest in information literacy i agree you should invest in information literacy put out the information let people decide on their own this approach the report argues would allow room for error and avoid uh ghettoizing misinformation to alternative platforms. Wow, I like that. I'm going to start using that. Um, science stands on the edge of error and the nature of scientific endeavor at the frontier means there uh, means there is a there is always uncertainty, Kelly said. So, um, but yeah, I agree with this article. You shouldn't just because something you may think is untrue today don't mean it will be untrue tomorrow. So let let people say what they want. As long as they're not calling to hurt anyone, they should be able to say what they want and let people decide if it's true or not. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh,